Hey guys, this is Steel Kid Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a health bar for your NPC or just your character in and all of its own. So yeah, um, yeah, you'll probably be seeing this, I don't know, in many different games. And, uh, um, in fact, inside the humanoid, there is actually uh, one that's built in for you. Um, that Roblox actually has made, but of course sometimes that's usually very too cliche or it's just not good enough for your uh, taste. So in this video, I'm going to uh, try to teach you how to make one that's a little better. You know, one that actually shows the actual health of the uh, character or the NPC, and it actually has a bar that reacts almost in real time to the player's actual health. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Now for this, um, now for tutorial purposes, I'm going to be using this dummy right here. If you don't know how to get that, go to plugins up here. There's going to be a build rig, and you can uh, choose one of them. I choose the mesh. And then after that, um, a few things that you should probably uh, know before you actually go into this tutorial is first of all the humanoid, and just the uh, health and max health, because that's what um, one of the uh, main things that this uh, script or this sort of GUI will rely on. Um, along with that, um, I should probably tell you that, sorry, one sec, that display distance type should be set to none because if it was set to subject or viewer, there would be this popping on and it just doesn't really look pretty, does it? So for, in, for that, I'm going to put it to none. If you want the name to show here, then you could just make another billboard GUI and just put it above this health bar. But yeah, um, other than that, before I actually show you the script, I'm just going to run you through what I did for the health bar, because this is also very important, and just what I did in general. Now, for this, um, sorry, for this to work, I would recommend you to put this in head, or this uh, billboard GUI in head, just so that um, everything, I guess, works out okay. You can, of course, uh, edit this to your will if you know a little bit of uh, a little bit about billboard GUIs, things like that. But once again, for tutorial purposes, I will be putting it in head. Now, inside this uh, GUI, I have quite a few things here. I'm just going to uh, run through them really quick before we actually start scripting. Now, first thing is the actual billboard GUI itself. I named this HP, of course, in the script. Um, if you want to reference this um, with a different name, then of course remember to put it uh, to reference it as its correct name. Now inside here, um, there's nothing much that I should probably tell you other than the size and the studs offset along with the max distance. Now max distance, this is just basically saying how close does the player have to be to show this health bar. So of course I set this to 30, which I believe is uh, the distance in studs, or I could be wrong, I have no idea. <laughs> But yeah, um, 30 is what I chose. It seems like a pretty good medium. Then after that, we have size. Now this is going to be the size of your health bar. Now you can actually edit this to your uh, to your will in terms of the scale, so the 7 and 0 0.5 here. It uh, shouldn't affect um, this uh, much, or this health bar much. Just um, yeah, make sure it doesn't sort of uh, overlap with the head. Now with the 6 over here, um, of course, you could probably guess this is offset. You're probably wondering why in the world I'm using offset, and I'll tell you that in just a little bit, so don't worry. But yeah, you can edit the scale, and uh, sorry, the X scale and the Y scale, however you want. It doesn't really matter. And then, of course, for studs offset um, over here, I put this in. Uh, I put two in the Y, just because if it was at zero, well, I, I don't. I don't think anybody wants to have a health bar going through their head. So of course, I set it to 2, so that the health bar actually shows a little bit above the head. That's why it's offset. Then, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, the billboard. Now, going down to the frame over here, this, th this is where things might get a little bit complicated, so I hope I can explain everything as well as I can. Now, the first thing is this border size pixel. Now, this is going to be the reason why I put this uh, 6 over here. Now... Border size pixel, if you don't know already, basically adds this sort of black border around the HP bar. And I set this to 3, or in other words, 3 pixels. And the reason why I have this 6 over here is that, so this 6 gives room for this border to be shown. If this was at 0, like, f oh, sorry. If this was at uh, 0, this probably wouldn't 
uh, actually no, it will ha it would happen, but of course this is usually better to get your the most accurate scale. So I guess that's why the six is here. But along with that, you're probably wondering why I have this negative six over here. And if I show you what happens when I put this to zero, you can see that the black borders don't even show anymore. And that's because this, it's basically out of the bounds. Oh, what, oh my. But basically, it's out of the uh, billboard GUI's bounds. So the reason why I put negative six here is so that the uh, this the X sort of border can actually show instead of it just being, oh, I don't know, dis it, it just disappears. So yeah, I hope I explained that pretty well. Then, um, yeah, that's actually pretty much it for the frame. Now, this is where things um, also get a little complicated. So once again, please hang on. I'll try to explain everything as well as I can. Now, for the HP shower over here, this is just a text label for, sorry, for the, um, just this 100 out of 100 here. This script will actually um, sort of edit this in real time or close to real time. So don't worry about that. Now, inside uh, HP shower, I set the scale to 1, 1, so it fills the whole thing. You can just, uh, shrink it if you want to, things like that. I also recommend putting the text to text scaled or else um, this, uh, or else if it's not uh, scaled, it just doesn't exactly look too good. So once again, I put it to scaled so that it goes in ratio with the GUI when it gets closer or bigger. Oh, sorry, closer or further. Then along with that, yeah, I, I believe that's uh, everything here. Now for health, uh, once again, this uh, is pretty much the same as HP Shower, um, other than the fact that I put... Ah, here. Uh, I put Z index to zero. And the reason why I put Z index to zero is because we want this HP shower to show. Uh, I should also mention that background transparency for the HP shower should be set to one. If it was set to zero, then the bar wouldn't actually show. So remember to put this at one. And of course, Z index at one. Now, the reason why I put Z index at zero is that if I did put this at one, then, well, the HP wouldn't show because Z index basically means it's it's sort of layers, I guess, in a way. So I want to put this at the uh, lowest layer, um, so that um, it will show through because of this HP's transparency. But at the same time, it will still show the uh, numbers and the HP bar at the same time. So yeah, um, I think that's um, all in terms of the GUI stuff. You can probably edit this to your will if you know a little bit about it. You know, shouldn't be too much of a problem. So yeah, that's um, all for the GUI. Now let's actually get to the script. Now, of course, this does look like a lot. Um, I know I did this beforehand, but I promise I will explain everything as well as I can. Now, first of all, is this while true to loop. Now, of course, if you shrink this, this is pretty self-explanatory. While true to, and then this wait and end here, that should all be pretty self-explanatory. This is just checking um, every wait um, sort of delay, or sorry, wait frame in a way. So yeah, um, this shouldn't be too um, hard to understand, wait, end, things like that. Now this part is where um, a little bit of math comes in. Now you know that the humanoid here, all right, has health 100 and max health as 100 as well. This is just health and max health, right? Well, what this is doing is first I'm getting the value of both, so HP. So HP is going to be equal to whatever's uh, you know, the humanoid's health, which is 100, or 100 right now, and then of course max HP, which is basically the same thing for, for health, but instead it's max health. Now, the reason why I'm dividing the health by the max health is so that it gives me a number between 0 and 1. And conveniently, the, um, sorry, the health bar, or in terms of the size, is usually between 0 and 1. If you put it to, let's say, 0.5, then the bar is going to be at 0 0.5. If you put it at 0 0.25, the bar is going to be at 0 0.25, or uh, 0 0.25 of the um, whole GUI. So it's sort of a percentage sort of thing. So what this is basically saying is getting a, a percent of the health. So if the humanoid's health was 50 out of 100, this would, this would give me 0 0.5, because 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5. And of course, what I'm doing after that this is the script up parent size. It's basically just um, doing that. It's basically just um, changing the size of the health bar to um, whatever percentage the um, the health is. 
And of course, this one here, that's for the Y's scale, so that it doesn't just, it, nothing happens. Zero, this is offset, should be pretty self-explanatory. This is UDIM2. Now, after that, uh, we still have this big chunk of if statements to cover, which I will do right now. <laughs> now, the first thing I did was I put this into text. Or, in other words, I referenced the HP shower, which, which um, long story short, shows the HP. And what I'm doing is just sh um, saying, oh, this text is going to show the, hu the person's uh, actual HP, and then add a slash, and then add, um, show the person's maximum HP. So if it was 50 out of 100, it would say 50 slash 100. Then after this, um, these are the if statements to change the color. Now, of course, this is optional if you want, but I do recommend uh, doing this so that it just looks a little nicer and a little cleaner as well. Now, what I did here was I put three if statements. One that would uh, change it to green, as you can see here. One that would change it to yellow, as you can see here. And one that would change it to red. And the way I did that is of these if statements. The first one is if the HP is greater than 0 0.5. The reason why I didn't put an equal sign is because I want it to not count 0 0.5 as is. No, anything higher than 0 0.5 other than 0 0.5 itself will change this to green. After that, I have this second one, and this is for the yellow. Uh, this one's going to be probably the most complicated as well, because it's saying that if the health is less than or equal to half, and the health is greater than a quarter, then... Uh, change the bar to yellow. So long story short, if it's uh, greater than 25% of health and it's equal to or less than 50% uh, of the health, then change it to yellow. And finally, we have the red one, which basically me, which is basically saying if the health is just less than uh, less than or equal to 25%, then change it to red. These else, uh, these else statements or j uh, these else's are here just so that um, it's if one doesn't if one isn't true then it keeps going down and down and I should probably mention that I would recommend put it uh, green yellow red just so that if you did reverse it or something like that it probably would have I don't know some fireworks of colors before it actually sets the actual value because it goes down from one all the way down to 19 if you know what I'm saying <laughs> But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the script. And if we run the game, right here. Yep. Oh, I should probably tell you I will cover this part in just a little bit. But if we go into server over here, because note that this is in a normal script. This is not in a local script, meaning that if, um, if I did change the value uh, locally or via the player, it just it, it wouldn't show. I should. So if we go into head right here, and we go into HP, you can see that everything's working pretty well. It's showing 100 out of 100, so things like that. Now, if we turn the health down of the uh, dummy to about 50, let's say, you can see that it turns yellow. And of course, the reason for that is because in the script, it's right now less than 50%, oh, sorry, 50% or less. In this case, it's 50%. And so this one, it just sort of skips through this one because... It's not. It's just not greater than uh, fifty percent, so it skips through this one. Then it goes to this one, and because it uh, it uh, follows it, then it follows the if statements. Then, of course, this would happen. And the reason why it's not red now is because, of course, this is checking if it's less than or equal to twenty-five, which it isn't. So yeah. Now let's say we turn it down even further to let's say ten. Then you can see it's red because this is lower than 25%. This is 10% of health. It's not greater than tw uh, 25 or greater than 50. Nope, it's 10%. Yeah. So um, in terms of an NPC having this, um, it should be all explained now. Then, of course, finally, we have the player. And you're probably wondering how I got it in the player. Now, for this, um, you want the Billboard GUI to be cloned or just copied into replicated storage. The reason why I want this to be in replicated storage is because replicated storage can be seen by both the server and the client, or the player. So that's why I put this in replicated storage, so both sides can see it, you and the server. 
And of course, in starter character scripts, this uh, what I'm saying right here is basically just waiting for this billboard UI to load. Then of course, you know, clone the uh, sorry, clone this billboard UI and put it in the player's head, or in other words, my character's head. And of course, the rest um, sorry, the rest of it explains itself. It just pretty much works on its own, things like that. Now, of course, you can also see that my, um, sorry, my health bar is a little bit, you know, intercepting my little hat right here. And I don't want my hat to be covered. It's a beautiful hat. I want everyone to see it. So, of course, if you ever want to, you can just edit this inside the game. But if, uh, but just for tutorial purposes, I'll be doing it here. And I'm just going to bump this up to, I don't know, 2.2. There we go. Now everyone can see my beautiful hat. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope this tutorial was of use to you. I hope I explained everything very well, or as well as I could. I'm sorry that this video is a little longer, but of course I hope I did cover everything um, as the the best I could. So yeah, um, have fun scripting. If you have any uh, questions or comments, just leave them down and just uh, you know send them down below the video, below the description. You know. Y you know what to do. So yeah, um, other than that, uh, have fun scripting, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!